I worked at IMAX for 17 years there and I learned how to do like insane Photoshop stuff. About over a year ago now, I would just be on Instagram and I would see people posting these insane pictures and I'd be like, what is this? So I became um, a creative partner with Runway. and But it doesn't happen to much, you know, it's yeah. rare that it happens. So I felt really lucky. Um, there's like all these different motion presets. This one's moving in and out. Uh, hey guys, it's James here from AI Mode and I'm here with Kelly Besh and she is a TikTok star. <laughs> One of the biggest accounts I've ever spoken to. 300k is it now? It's over, yeah. Like yeah. 305 or something. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is, that really is quite mental. Um, okay, so where should we start then? Where, where is it? Where is your graphic design, design career and, you know, where has it all begun? Where did it start? Um, I've been doing Photoshop since it first became a thing and I've been interested in graphic design. They didn't have that when I went to school. It was a little bit after my time. Um, and so I'm also I'm completely self-taught. I taught myself Photoshop. I've done, I'm like a tutorial junkie. And so I learned um, Premiere and After Effects and Final Cut and I mean, you name it, Illustrator, InDesign, everything. So I, I learned everything, all these programs. And I worked at IMAX for 17 years in film production and then marketing. And I used to do a lot of graphic stuff for them. And then um, I left IMAX and then eventually moved to Nashville for four years. And I was like, I just was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And so I got a job with this company called Advent where they made these big giant like uh, posters and stuff for uh, stadiums, like sports, it was all sports stuff, like giant football players and texts on the walls and everything. And I got like really, really good because they, they kind of teach you while you're working there. And I learned how to do like insane Photoshop stuff anyway. So that's how I kind of got into my graphic design um, work like what I do for my day job, um, which actually carries over into the AI stuff really nice because I can manipulate the images. I've, I can make these great videos because I, I have all this background in, in Adobe. So it sort of just blended nicely together being a graphic designer and then getting into AI. Maybe by next time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I wonder where we can go next then. So wh what can you talk about um your graphic design career and and how you're using ai you know like photoshop generative fill you know all those sorts of things you know what where have you found it's useful well that's the main one i mean before we would i would have to especially sometimes i work with in um for some film stuff and you do um movie posters and you have to expand like you used to have to create like get pictures from all over and rebuild these things and or even just shoulders from a person or the top of a head, like all the stuff you used to have to manually rebuild it and it would take hours. Oh, yeah. And now it's like seconds. I mean, it's changed all of our lives like that. Like I can't even imagine not having it now, how we survive. And it's gotten so good. Like you can't even tell the difference anymore. And um, so I use it every day in my graphic design work. And I also use it for... In Illustrator, you can create um, vectors now. You can tell it what kind of vector files you want for something. They're not great, but sometimes you get something that you need. Or um, like, I mean, I use it, like sometimes I have, I have to have a specific um, stock photo that I just can't find no matter where I look. And then in mid journey, we'll make it in two seconds. And before you would have to kind of created or you just could never get that now you can get exactly what you want so it's really made my life so much easier mm -hmm. working wise so i haven't had time to play around with illustrator's generative ai yet i've used the photoshop one like when you say mm -hmm. the results are what could be said as varied what, what, what do you think what are they like well you might say i need an icon for a like a train or something and sometimes it sometimes it'll come out really good like close to what you want and then sometimes it just looks wonky like it's not quite as good as like photoshop generative ai yet but um it's getting better like sometimes you just need a vector that you can't find online or something it has to be a vector file mm. meaning it could be blown up to as big as you want it has to be it's a certain type of file so how did you first get into ai then 
Well, about over a year ago now, I would just be on Instagram and I would see people posting these insane pictures and I'd be like, what is this? Like, what are, I mean, I, how do I figure this out? How do I learn it? No, back then, like the artists, nobody wanted to tell you, nobody wanted to help you. They were all real secretive about it. It was like, yeah. oh my God, that took me forever to figure out how to find mid journey, then how to set it up through discord all by myself. And I was like, this is so hard. Now thinking back, it wasn't really, but when you didn't have any help. And so I started, you know, just doing the journey images and stuff. And I think it was when 5.0 was out and it was pretty bad, but it, back then it looked really cool. And um, so then I made it a mission to like want to help other people so that they didn't have to go through what I went through. And now I notice a lot of other other artists are helping people get set up. And then when I started finding out that they were starting to do um, AI video, when I saw Runway, I immediately got into that because I love doing video work. I've done music videos and all kinds of video work over the years. And um, I'm obsessed with video, AI video now. And so I became um, a create a partner with runway. And so I get free access to their app and I get like early access to anything new that they're releasing. And, uh, so now I pretty much only do video, you know, I create images a lot of times and then I'll animate them. Or sometimes I do text to video if I'm trying to go for something more realistic. Mm. But, uh, how'd, how'd you that's find, kind of how I get into it. How'd you find text to video in runway? I personally haven't done it much. I did a few tests and I was like, Oh, I'll stick with mid journey. Um, actually it's gotten better. Sometimes it's kind of crappy. I think sometimes with people, it's not as good, but like I was trying to do, um, driving cars. I made like a fake play car commercial one day and I was try. I made all these cool cars. I was trying to get them to drive and they wouldn't a runway wouldn't animate them driving. But then I did text to, um, video and they came out insane like the cars driving down the road were so realistic and you could just say any background or any um, type of image and it was working great. So for stuff like that, or for aerial shots, flying over something are insane and um, anything without people. It's in, And you can get some good people things, but like, it's great for, um, for, anything like landscapes or buildings or anything like that it's look that does really well you can even try to do like time lapses and um slow-mo stuff mm. to play around with that interesting yeah i i have to play around more, more with that then um I, i'm actually writing a book on um runway actually um we would just uh, oh. me, yeah me and uh, another person um christina Ardlin, and um it's it, we're calling it the essential guide to runway for the moment um but i don't know how much that's going to change because we do want to write a section on mid journey but they haven't asked us to to do that they've just asked us to do the video side of it um oh, okay yeah so i i was playing around with it um just the other day because it's one of the few features that i haven't used very much there's but... so much that it does i use the green screen feature a ton because you can upload a video um and just tell it to pull out the person and it does it so fast and then so then you have a green screen of that person like if you're going to do like a dance video i've been playing around with lens go where you upload a video and then you give it an image prompt and it kind of changes the um video it's kind of fun something mm. different um and so runway pulls that um person right out of the background so easy it's great mm -hmm. yeah it is <clears throat> it's pretty quick at like masking I think you call it all mm -hmm. chroma key. I can't remember. Yeah, masking, right? Yeah, yeah. All AI mode content that you see on LinkedIn is also on our YouTube channel. You can scan the code on the screen. Hey guys, it's James here. So are you at creating AI video or AI images? If so, this is the place for you. So each month I do a competition where there is a first place, second place and third place winner for each category. So if you enter um if you enter your video you can get you can send me up to three videos only use the form that's on the screen right now to enter your video for best video right 
don't send me i know some of you send me whatsapp messages and linkedin emails facebook sometimes please don't do that <laughs> please use the form because otherwise i'll forget that you sent it to me because i get so many messages about this sort of stuff that i can't always remember what everyone sent me and i've got a bad memory um if you want to enter your image for the best image you can scan the code that's on the screen right now again you've got until the end of the month to enter so that's the end of this month as well by the way and i've just announced entries for another competition but that was for june um so you'll so let, let's say like you enter by the end of month one people have got the until the end of month two to vote for you some people still keep voting past this date I, sometimes i go into the form and i'm like why are people still voting I've, I've announced the winner already why are people still voting um anyway so if you ever want to see the entries for any of the previous competitions you can go to the link that's on the screen right now just go and scan that or type in the little bitly link or whatever i put there uh that's where i put all the entries is there um so it goes out on my personal youtube 2.6k goes out onto the ai mode youtube channel i've got 20 subscribers not many at the moment um goes out on the ai mode linkedin page got 300 subscribers on there at the moment and um, goes out on my own profile i've got about just under 5,000 followers on there and then i also post into groups as well so you're tagged in all of the posts so don't think of this as a competition just think of this as a little bit of um advertising for you because your name gets mentioned your work gets seen your name is right next to the video as you see it so it's very easy for people to vote for you if you want to send the voting link to people i thought i'd put it in here to make it easier uh just scan the scan the code that's on the screen right now um it'll take the pe person to the place where they need to vote and again same th for the best image they can vote there Yep, that's it. So if you're interested in taking part or just having your work um, advertised, then please get in contact with me. Um, you know, I give out awards every month to people. So this is good to have on your CV. You know, if you're out of work right now, it's good for that. And also, it's just good for your personal profile. I mean, I'm not like mega influencer or anything like that, but I do post it into a lot of places. So I post it into groups, post it on my own profile get shared you get tagged um you know this this is this is this is like a good ad for you if you're looking for work so um there's also that and plus you know it's just good to keep your face being seen on linkedin this is how you get work all right until next time i shall see you soon good luck in the competitions and um vote for other people please read the rules please read the rules on those links thank you all right bye